this is Destination Earth Star. Could the makers of this game not pick a more applicable name? Why not Destination Boring as Snail Shit? So apparently there's a plot to this game. 200 years ago, a random number of Earthlings were captured for slave labor. They eventually earned their freedom and the privilege to live amongst the aliens as equals. The descendants of these enslaved Earthlings formed a group and sent a volunteer into outer space in the hopes of finding planet Earth again. Why? To be slaves again? I, I don't fucking know. I don't know. When you first play the game, there's no plot or anything, only a fuckload of credits. If you bought the game with the box and you didn't piss and shit all over it after seeing what you spent your money on, there'd be no way of knowing any of this. You would just start the game, be forced against your will to watch the credits, you're too busy working by tapping the start button, you begin to feel like the makers bought and sold you on this game as if you're just a worthless piece of property that can provide a buck. Ironically, this game makes you feel like a slave by perfect definition. That's how fucking evil this game is. Once you start playing, you'll see a ton of numbers up to the left. Mostly altitude, latitude, longitude, yeah that kind of shit. You start pressing buttons and find some laser guns and torpedoes and my first thought was okay, these aliens enslaved your ancestors and they decided it's a good idea to give you weapons. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm flying around in space not knowing what to do. I spend like tens of minutes waiting to get to a planet. I finally get to one and it looks like a dodgeball or something. I fly toward it and it just like disappears. Like, what the fuck? Is it the size of a dodgeball? What's the point of this? So I move on to see what these numbers are and find another starship. And he starts firing torpedoes at me. <laughs> I'm flying along like, hey buddy, and he answers with, hey fuck you, mate! So what do I do? I got a little fucking mad at that point. I start firing torpedoes back at him. And these things fire diagonal or some shit. I spent like 20 minutes using trigonometry to figure this shit out and I just gave up. Even Einstein would have said, what the fuck. It's like you can be facing them completely straight and fire, and they just go wherever they want. When I hit somebody, it's total fucking luck, so don't use the torpedoes. They should have been called torpedoes. Use your ruby laser. It has a crosshair, so at least you know where you're shooting. It's the only thing that works in this game. So kill Gladio Bumfuckio and move on to the other numbers to kill more people and ships. Like this game is training you to be some kind of a pan-galactic serial killer. Oh, my phone is ringing. I need to pause the game. So what do I do? Like any other normal person playing Nintendo would do, you press start. It changes my gun. I'm thinking, okay, I press select. Guess what that fucking did? It switches the screen to show me which weapon I'm using. Just in case I can't see the fucking crosshairs in front of my face and I'm second guessing myself. How about a screen that shows me the controls for cock -a doodles sake? So I have to find my remote to mute the music since I'm too embarrassed to have this playing in the background of a conversation. After the phone call, I go make a drink since it's going to be a long fucking night. I go back to the game and it says game over. What the fuck? Was there a time limit? No, your ship has energy. After looking at all the other dumb number shit, I didn't bother looking at anything else. So I must have ran out of energy when I wasn't playing. So I got a little upset. I watched the credits at the beginning to see who's responsible for designing this, this thing. And it turns out two people designed this game. Two people. Two fucking, two men made this game. Which one was it that said laser beams and torpedoes and oh, that pause with the start button? Oh, that, that's gotta go, that's gotta go. So after all the credits have passed, it shows the basic controls, which I already figured out. But then there was all this whole other set of controls where you only had a few seconds to read the first few and only remember one or two. So to see the controls again, you have to watch all the credits all over again. Fuck that. So to pause the game, you have to press A and B while pressing B, slightly pressing A to get it to work. Why it had to be like that, I don't know. So I try pausing the game. The screen pauses, but the fucking music is still playing. What the fuck? I want to be quiet. I shouldn't have to get up and mute my TV. But then when I unpause the game, the music was off, which means you can cycle through it and switch it off through pausing the game. Oh, really? I thought it was gonna be like something like up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, start fucking yourself. There's also a way to change the speed, which makes things a little less than holy fuck this is boring to this is completely boring as shit. So once I figured this out, I went back to one of the plants and approached it more slowly. I finally landed on it, or orbiting it, or it's going down on you, I don't fucking know. 
You might get some resources for doing it, or it'll say it's uninhabited to the ship. Whatever. So once you take out all the other ships in the map, a planet shows up that you have to land on and blow up, I think. You go to it, and my screen all of a sudden does some glitch or something. And then you're shooting on a two-dimensional screen, and you start to feel like you're playing a game. <laughs> However, mine, I can't see shit. I keep crashing in invisible walls, and it's just pissing me the fuck off. It's like the enemy has godlike power to do anything, like the power of illusion, including killing you instantly through thin air. So I can't beat it, but apparently there's like seven more of these missions you have to do to see the ending. And like every Nintendo game, I'm sure it's a spectacle I can't miss. Oh, here's the ending. You're welcome back to Earth after you blew it the fuck up. Fuck this game. Do if you're laughing. <laughs> Be a man, right? I'm trying, man. This is hard. Do the right thing. If you bought the game with the box and you didn't piss and shit all over it after seeing what you spent all your money fucking on, there would be no. <laughs> I was halfway there. Shit. <laughs> I was halfway there. I, I was perfect. I was going perfect, and I just fucking oh, lost gosh, it. Why don't you just get drunk tomorrow? No, no, this is perfect. I'm actually saying it the way I want to say it too.